Yo guys, what's up? I hope you're all doing great. The new update for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre dropped yesterday. We got some major changes to Danny, to different perks, and also a ton of bug fixes. And now I'm gonna tell you the most important changes of this update. First up, we got some changes to the lobby timer. The lobby timer will only be visible in the last 5 seconds before a match launches. So that means the timer is still there, but we will not be able to see it until the game is basically starting. And also they changed the way the timer resets. They have changed the lobby timer to not reset to 30 seconds if a 6 player hits unready. And they also changed it so when 5 players are readied up and a 7th player enters the lobby, the match will start in 30 seconds. So personally I thought they would remove the lobby timer completely, but it seems like it's still there, but it's just hidden. Yeah, so I don't know if that will affect lobby dodging positively because, because maybe people will leave because they think time is still pretty high when it's not that high at all. They also made changes to the reporting system, so now we can report players for different reasons like exploiting, cheating and so on. So we have more options there to report people. They also fixed that exploit where you could trap Leatherface behind the door so he couldn't destroy it or unlatch the door while the victim was in the barge animation from the other side. So you could basically trap Leatherface in a room in the basement and he couldn't get out. And it was really, really annoying. All right, we got to talk about Danny here. So finally, we got the Danny nerf after being a completely pay to win broken character for so long. So basically they changed Danny's level three instant study ability where Danny cannot temper any item that he has also instant study such as fuse box, generator, valve tank and battery. So if he instant studies the item, he cannot tamper with it. So this will maybe stop uh, the instant opening and tampering of the exits a little bit. So this is the big change to Danny. They also tuned Danny's knowledge gain. Uh, they have rebalanced the amount of knowledge that Danny gains from items such as lamps, toolboxes, radios, TVs, generators and so on. Probably he will get less knowledge from those items. They also have tuned Danny's inspect speed to be 20% as level 1 and 50% at level 2. They also added the perk Slippery to Danny's perk tree. Previously Slippery was not in his tree and now you can get it through a random perk node. And then they also fixed a couple of bugs related to Danny tempering the generator and also a bug where tempering having no effect on an open valve. And now when he tempers the open valve, the valve will stay open for longer. All right, guys, let me know in the comments down below. What do you think of this Danny nerf? Do you think this will work and make him balanced? Yeah, I'm gonna have to play some games and see how hard it's gonna be to play versus Danny right now after this nerf. Also, make sure to smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything on the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Next up, they tuned Nancy's Poison Claws duration. They have tuned down the values for the duration of Nancy's Poison Claws perk to 2, 5 and 8 seconds. Previously, the poison effect uh, would last for 5, 10 and 15 seconds. Then we also got a nerf on the Choose Flight perk. They have tuned the Choose Flight perk accordingly, which means level 1 only fills 50% of your stamina bar and is a single charge. Level 2 fills 75%. Level 3 fills 100% of stamina and has a single charge. So before the patch it used to have 3 charges and filled to 100% on every charge. And now you only have 1 charge and depending on the level you will get the percentage of stamina. Um, yeah, this is a pretty hard nerf to this perk, but I think also it's much needed. The only problem I see with this is that we don't have a scout nerf just yet. So they will have to nerf scout to make this balance because I don't think this is pretty balanced now. You would take choose flight because you would have to counter the scout perk from the family. And now I don't know if choose flight is even viable anymore. Maybe it's still viable. Maybe it's still good. Like in a situation where you have to make like one huge run to the exit and then you are escaped, then you have to save this one charge for that moment. And you gotta be much more careful with your stamina management. All right, next up, uh, the bomb squad perk also got nerfed. The new bomb squad perk is now charge based. At level 1 you will get 2 charges, at level 2 you get 3 charges and at level 3 you get 4 charges and a 50% dismantle speed. So at level 3 the perk looks pretty good still but you gotta remember that you have only 4 charges so you can only disable 4 traps with this perk and then it's gone. And also it's a little bit slower than before. On the family side they also have the perk easily tuckered out. At level 1 it's now 10% less stamina for the attacks but the regeneration rate is 50% slower. At level 2, you get 20% less stamina with a 45% slower regeneration. And at level 3, and at level 3, your attacks use 30% less stamina, but the stamina regeneration rate is 40% slower. Next up, the confusing mechanic perk. They have tuned the confusing mechanic perk to adjust for the change made to have generators start during a match. So the perk holder will now be able to use it on a battery, fuse, and valve as well. Then we got a big change for Leatherface over here. They made it so Leatherface destroys barricades quicker. And this is really really a huge difference because now the animation is way shorter. Yeah, you don't have to sit there forever destroying the barricade which was really annoying. And that stuff really cost a lot of time in the game. And they also made blood trails thicker. So now it's it's really easy to, to find the victims when they leave such a big amount of blood. And I don't know if that's um, if that's good for the, for the victims. 
if we can find them so easily by just following the blood trail, you know. I don't know if you can still hide effectively from the family when you're leaving like buckets of blood and then we also got a ton of bug fixes. If you want to check them out yourself, just go read the patch notes, but that's just too much to cover in this video. All right, guys, these were the most important changes of the patch. We didn't get any new cosmetics yet, um, so we're going to have to wait for the new CC skin, for the new Johnny shirtless skin, and also for more skins and executions. Hopefully, this will come in the next couple of weeks. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Go smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything on the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.